really a lot and uh, I got some very interesting interesting questions from you guys uh, some questions where I'm not gonna answer because they're answered in previous uh, Q&A videos which I will link down below but uh, let's get started with yes, the yes. first question most surprising this war forever <laughs> never stop <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she will grow, grow, yeah. and then she will say, ah, I don't want to be together with you. Yeah. And then you will say like, no, I won't see you. <laughs> huh? Maybe. Now, for me, the most surprising thing about parenting is that I actually realized that I really enjoy it. I thought that um, many, because I don't really I'm not really a kid's fan. Mm -hmm. When I see other kids, I'm not like, oh my god, so cute or something. I was always like, yeah, it's a child, you know. But now, looking at Fanta, because she's my child, I'm like, oh my god, look, she's so cute. <laughs> she does the same thing over and over again, but I'm still always saying like, oh, look, can you see how she smiles? Can you see how she holds this? And you're like, yes, <laughs> yeah, stuff like this. So that's the thing that surprised me the most about parenting. Of course, there are up and downs, but for now, I, I, I'm surprised that I really like the, mm -hmm. the fact of mm -hmm. being a parent. Yes, also I'm so surprised because she's so not similar to me. <laughs> <laughs> that only, surprises you? Yes, she only look like me. <laughs> this like. Oh, this, this is okay. <laughs> I'm a little sorry for Aisha because I'm more strong. No, but I think <laughs> she look like me also. This you you can only see her Asian part, but no, I can I see her details and the details are more like her. Yes, but this I think is just you hope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did it affect our relationship? Is our relationship different than before? What do you think? Mm, no, more deep talk, more talk, more future for Fanta. Yes, only this different, but I don't know, our schedule also. Yes! Different. Yes, yes, many different, but our love and this relationship is not different right yeah i think our relationship didn't really change the the only thing is that we have a lot of deep talk like we sit down and say now we need to talk now we need mm -hmm. to do a schedule now we need to talk about when we said like we're gonna start uh, giving her food then we have to talk about what mm -hmm. we want to do we want mm -hmm. to like our vision mm -hmm. because every culture has different vision and not even only culture also inside the culture people have different beliefs on how raising a child <coughs> and uh, we need to talk about this stuff a lot and before we just when we were together we just enjoyed we just had like fun together mm -hmm. and now we have a lot of deep talks and deep conversations mm -hmm. and i think yes we watch we definitely watch less movies than before yeah. yes. <laughs> and we visit less cafes and have less dates than before but it's okay right because um, now our main focus is Fanta and for now I think it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
it's a little bit too early to say, right? Because yeah. now we're not. I feel like we're not really raising her right now because we we don't we are not teaching her any manners or uh, cultural beliefs or stuff. So right now we're just taking care of her. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's like a little different because when I see other baby, then not like this. No, like, but not how? Not like this size. That's why I cannot talk in maybe because I imagine like more tall and hang out. I only imagine this. I don't know like this newborn care. I cannot. She's Before too young, that. yes. Yeah, uh, you already, you thought you can play more already with her right now? No, 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 not this meaning. I cannot imagine before like this. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I don't know, I cannot care like baby like this. You never this, took yes. care of a baby yeah. before, so you have no idea how. Mm -hmm. Yes, right, so. Yeah, we will see. I think it's a little bit too early for this type, to answer this type of question. Yes, but this one, this true, really hard life. <laughs> it's hard, yes. Do you have? Do we have time for us? Yes, on weekends. On weekends, but Fanta is always there. So, yeah, so. not yet. But I think later when she, I don't know. I think we need to work on that a little bit. Because in the long run, I think we also need to have time for all of us, right? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yes, this is a Like right now, our days are passing so fast. On weekdays, it's just always the same routine. Wake up, feed her, play with her, change her, wash her, then take a, take a walk with her, then take her to bed and then sleep and then wake up again it's always the same thing and on weekends uh, just family time us three together and that's it at the moment it's just like the same routine over and over again yeah. <laughs> mommy she likes me more mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think relationship quality time we need to work on that. I think it is, it is on our to-do list, mm -hmm. on our very long to-do yes. list. I think there are more things that I have to give up than not. No, but um, for now, everything is changing very quickly. When she was a newborn, it was very easy apart from the like the first month then it was really only focused on her but after the first month and uh, we we got like a routine then it was pretty easy for me to go back to do my workout and stuff that was very important for me because she was sleeping a lot so while she was sleeping I was able to do everything what I wanted and what I was doing before so I realized I don't have to give up on that stuff but now that she's sleeping way less and she's so much active and she always needs attention now i have the feeling i cannot like i do five minutes of workout and then like ah yeah, and i need to hold her again or something like this or i want to uh, answer an email i like five minutes later i i cannot uh, i cannot finish i cannot focus so there are a lot of stuff that i um i start then I need to stop because I need to take care of her and then I forget about about it and then I start a new stuff so I have a lot of inc incompleted stuff and I think this is a thing that's giving me a lot of stress lately uh, Yes, I think this is also the same thing Similarly, I need work when I wake up then I go work but she need change schedule so she sleep early but I finish a little late then I cannot hang out together many times long time so yes that's why now I need to wake up more early so we hang out a little more but I don't have 
Heart, but this not finish this heart. You can never see yeah. the end line. Yeah, I, usually, when it's like you're having a hard time, mm -hmm. you think like, ah, okay, I'm having a hard time on my job, but on Friday evening my job is finished. That I have yeah, to get. Yeah. But with Fanta, it's always like it's 24 hours, seven days a week. When I finish work, then I come home. Then oh yes, okay, I need to, I need to, I need to. Oh, now I eat. No, I. Eat. Hungry, so eat. Then okay, the shower. Oh, already too late. So I need sleep. Oh, I won't sleep, but she little wake up, and I cannot sleep. Also, she need care. Oh yes, let's sleep. Yes, then sleep like really late, and wake up. Then, oh yes, I sleep. Oh yes, okay, I need go work like this. Also, we can we need hang out together. That's why this little area. Definitely our life changed a lot and uh, to come back to the question before about uh, our quality time, I think before Fanta was born our quality time was always at night when you came home from work. So that's why we went to sleep very late usually like <laughs> 2, 3 a.m. and now we try to at least to sleep at 12 and uh, of course then a lot of time for ourselves or our us together is is not there anymore mm -hmm. so yeah i don't know if it will continue to be like this but at the moment it's really hard. yes yes but we need find this good plan yes let's see how how mm. things will go <laughs> Right. We get exactly the same thing. The only thing is that yeah. <laughs> the only thing is that everything is in Korean, so you need to be very good in Korean in order to be able to know about what is happening and what benefits you have. So yes, but a little more have this benefit like foreigner mom. Ah yeah. Korean, there was another question and if there's more benefits for multiracial couples mm -hmm. in Korea compared to Italy or other countries. I don't know about Italy because I have uh, because I'm Italian so I don't know if there are more benefits for people who are not Italian who live in Italy. But here that's true. If a Korean person is married mm -hmm. to a foreigner then there are even more benefits. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I don't know because because Korean, they don't make babies so much when they call Korea, so they make babies. So they, they're like, they oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you baby. for making yes. babies. Yes, probably. I don't know. For me, there are my own challenges. I need to research everything that I want to know. When I have questions about something to raise Fanta, mm -hmm. Then I always check on the internet and my uh, I always look on German websites or English websites or I ask my friends who like raise their kids in Italy and you ask your friends or you you look up for um, Korean sources on the internet and sometimes the stuff is different so that's the only challenge but other than that I think uh, it's still too early because she's not really interacting with other kids and stuff so we will see how this will be later mm -hmm. also when she goes to daycare I think for you it's just more work right you yeah. have just more work because there's a lot of things that I mm -hmm. cannot do right mm -hmm. organizational stuff mm -hmm. so I think if uh, a Korean person is married to a foreigner that person the Korean person needs to be aware that they will have the most of the work to do <laughs> when they live in Korea right <laughs> I'm always like oh hi can you do this <laughs> no I'm all by myself <laughs> I want that she goes to um, Oreneji very yeah. soon. Yeah. Uh, she, in Korea, what what age? One year old. You go to school usually. You go to school. But so like I, if I hope you go <laughs> next month. Yes, only like then start like you go. Yes. But usually people start like one year. One year? Yeah. Can we start with you go? If no, <laughs> we need like waiting. Yeah, we need. To, yeah, we are on the list already. Yeah. They are private organizations and also um, from the government. Yes, government. And we signed up to 
for the one you did it of course not me <laughs> and the government one and then you yeah. need to wait i think in every country it's the same thing mm -hmm. and as soon as she gets the place she will go there <laughs> so at least i can do my workout and my yoga and clean the house while she's there right and i think it's also good for her to be with other child because yeah, now yeah. she's already starting to just want me right yeah, yeah. because sometimes she cries and then she only wants my <laughs> uh, or not <laughs> huh fanta but I'm not a stay at home mom. I'm working at home, but I'm not only taking care of Fanta. I'm editing YouTube videos, I'm answering emails, I'm working on sponsorships, I work as a model. <laughs> so I have a lot of work to do actually. Of course, I'm not planning to go to work into an office or something after Fanta grows up but I will still always work and always continue my job. That's why it's also very challenging because it's not only taking care of her the whole day alone but also trying to do my job. So I think that's the thing why I have the feeling on weekdays there's not one second where I can relax but yeah it will get better when she goes to Orange Gym mm -hmm. I think so also to the question do you still model I'm like of course I'm not accepting many jobs right now I'm just accepting the the best options because if I go out and work for a whole day it has to be a job that really profits us because otherwise I would just I rather stay at home with us <laughs> Well, I never got asked about that, but actually yesterday we had a very yeah. funny story. Like you need to explain this because they were talking to you. Oh so. uh, yes, yesterday no. Two day, two days ago she go along this market. She want buy something camera, so she go to this camera market. But he already explained her. Then she said, "Let's go together. I don't understand so much, so we go together again." There, so I talk, then she go toilet. Yeah, so we talking bed. this man, then he said, Ah, yesterday she come alone for baby together. No, she come together, baby. Then he see Fanta, so also she not this like black skin, so like, Oh, what is this happen? He thinks along like this, then. She see me, so ah, her daddy is Korean, so that's why he understand. <laughs> yes, I think. So. You think many people think this? Yes. What is happening? Uh -huh. She doesn't look like mommy. <laughs> is this her child? No, I think it's because Korea don't have this nanny culture. A young nanny. Mm. Also. Ah, usually. Uh, usually, old people like yeah, are older nanny. people. Yeah, I don't know. They just oh. Uh, I think they just. Curious daddy face. Ah, maybe. okay, maybe. Yeah. Ah, but don't have young because in Italy usually nanny always student. Uh, Most popular Alba is doing making nanny. No, no, only old people. Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. For you, for me, it was like frustrating because mm -hmm. I never thought about people wondering what is happening. So. Mm -hmm. I was like, of course she's my baby. So next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a hat like I'm this child's mom. I didn't steal her. Uh, I think, talk, yeah. I think they're like two opposites, uh -huh. right? Because one part is very, very family friendly. Yesterday we also went to the Pekwa uh -huh. and I really like about Korea that there's. Uh, <laughs> that there is um how you call it baby lounge mm -hmm. the baby lounge and uh, everything is well equipped so if you go out with the baby then you can actually there's always a place where you can change where you can give her food mm -hmm. everything is there so that's very baby friendly 
But on the other side, I was very shocked about the no kids zone cafe. Ah, yeah. Right? What the hell? <laughs> Why they make no kids zone cafe? I think instead of just saying this is not a this no kids zone, just Parents, they need because I, I I posted on Instagram. What are the opinions about this from other people? I was curious what other people think about it, especially people who don't have kids. And they they say it's it's not good to have a no kids zone. New Boston. So about No Kids Stone Cafe, basically there were a lot of different opinions about it but most people said that it's not good to prevent coming families with kids if it's like a normal cafe where you go there during the day. It's the parents job to make sure that the child is silent and if the child is not behaving to just leave, right? Instead of just saying all kids cannot come because every kid is different I think. What do you think? Yes, yes, but we have now baby. Yes. But we don't have baby before, then we don't care this, right? But I don't know. I yes, you don't know. know. We don't know. The cafe owners, they do this because they say a lot of people who don't have kids and are in the cafe are complaining and saying, oh, these kids are so annoying. That's why they started to do more kids cafe. Do this little misunderstand because there have something dangerous mm -hmm. and ah, the danger is happening yes. and so that's why yes. they that's don't why want this, to take uh, yeah. the responsibility yes. yes i understand this owner also because they need pay for this child because this for like their parents right if insurance and government say like oh no this you you, you need to pay, pay because you you owner here like this that's why they just Block. This and then one other thing that I realized while I started using the stroller is that a lot of places are not easy to use the Imocha. Uh, yeah. The bus! It's impossible to take the bus with the Imocha uh -huh. because the bus always has stairs. I don't know but in my country the bus doesn't have the stairs because they made it good for strollers and also people with disabilities so that everyone can take ride the bus it's been only five months now that we are together with Fanta so we will see and we will learn and we will also show you the ups and downs and the pro and cons of uh, being a parent in Korea and yeah I think we just finished this video now <laughs> <laughs> you want to come here to say goodbye? Fanta is tired, I think, now. We're gonna end this video now. Let's go sleep. <laughs> okay, so thanks for, so much for watching this video. And yes, you can see being a parent is very hard. <laughs> thanks for watching bye -bye. Until, until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>